One of the greatest unfound treasures is mentioned in the Bible. Despite what Raiders of the Lost Ark might say, treasure hunters have searched for centuries and still not found the Ark of the Covenant, which is a special thing from the Bible. Um, this blingy box crafted by the Israelites was designed by God, and it's considered one of the world's most important lost treasures. We're glad that you found your treasure here at VBS this week. These amazing new friends that have joined us and like the Ark, they were crafted in God's design and they carry his power and love inside them. So we want to see your smile today. Share your smile with the crew. Now, today we're going to hear about a woman who was chosen to be queen in our Bible story today. If you could be chosen for an important role or award what would it be and why? Just think about it. Maybe no. these ideas might get you started. Maybe the Nobel Peace Award given to someone who promotes peace between people or nations. Maybe an Academy Award for the greatest actor or actress, director or story writer or videographer. Maybe you might uh, try to get the Heisman Trophy, which is awarded to the best college football player. Maybe the Booker Prize, which I had never heard of, which is given to the top writer, the Booker Prize, the Grammy Award, which is the most talented singer or songwriter, or maybe you would strive for the Olympic gold medal awarded to athletes in everything from gymnastics to horseback riding. All right, here's some jokes. Finley, are you ready to see if you can come up with some answers for me? Finley, what kind of floor does Raymond have in his house? Linoleum, tile, or carpet? Carpet. No, it's not carpet. It's reptiles because he's a caiman alligator. <laughs> Tiles. What do you call a caiman looking for directions? Considering that he's related to an alligator. A navigator. A navigator. Ah, that was good. Now, finally. What do you call a caiman looking for clues? Here's a hint. It uses the word gator. Investigate. Oh, she can't wait. She can't let anybody else take that. An investigator. That's a caiman looking for a clue. All right. Let's share our screen here. Let's get started. Hi, Dad. Let's do that. Let's get started here with our songs first. No, a science thing.
Fighting voices in my mind that say I'm not enough. Every single lie that tells me I will never measure up. Am I more than just the sum of every? Again, just who I am because I need to know You say I'm loved when I can't feel a thing You say I'm strong when I think I am weak You say I am held when I am falling short Let's pledge to the American flag. Standing up, we'll put our hands on our hearts. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.
Let's pledge to the Christian flag. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for whose kingdom it stands. One brotherhood uniting all Christians in service and in love. And our pledge to the Bible with our hand out in front. I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word, a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Its words will I hide in my heart that I may not sin against God. priceless treasure god knows me god hears me god is my comfort i am his and there's nothing better forgiven and chosen forever i am a treasure Say it one more time. I am a treasure. I am a treasure. You are a treasure. Yeah. You're a treasure to your family and to God. Are you ready for the rest of the quest? Welcome back to another day of adventure. Meet Raymond. You probably think you know what animal he is, but everyone gets this wrong. Alligator? Crocodile? Nope. Raymond is a caiman, kin to those bigger guys. You might say he's greater than a gator with crocodile style. Here's a quick family tree. <clears throat> Raymond's family is called crocodilians. In that family, there are alligators, crocodiles, and gharials. Sort of like the way you have aunts, uncles, cousins, second cousins, you get the idea. Of course, there are different kinds of crocodiles, alligators, and gharials. And he's right there, under the alligator branch. Got it? 
One way to tell them apart is by where they live. Caymans like the warm, tropical water found in rivers or swamps in Central and South America. Raymond prefers his water fresh, but some of his Cayman cousins like salt water. Usually, they're pretty quiet. After all, he can't be too noisy or he'd scare away his dinner. But sometimes, Raymond needs to give a shout out to his buddies. Raymond's lungs fill up so much that the water on his back vibrates. We're not saying he's lazy, but he does spend most of his day just basking in the sun. Oh, time for another nap. Out here, there aren't many animals that hunt caimans, so Raymond doesn't even have to keep an eye out to stay safe. Of course, it's always good to keep watch when these guys are sneaking around. Speaking of sneaking, Raymond can be pretty sneaky too. God put Raymond's eyes and nose on the top of his head. That way he can slowly swim through the water and sneak up on a snack. Yum! And when Raymond decides to take a bite, it's a big bite. God gave these reptiles plenty of sharp teeth and some of the strongest jaws on the planet. Grabbing lunch is a snap. <coughs> Raymond needs all the tricks and help he can get to catch food. On land, his legs are pretty short. Let's just say he won't be winning any prizes for running. But water is another thing. Caimans have such strong tails that they don't even need to use their legs. Ah, nothing like a nice, slow swim. God gave Raymond all kinds of ways to blend in and camouflage, so he stays safe and eats the food he needs to grow. For Raymond the Cayman, blending in and going unnoticed is a good thing. But for people, I think it's kind of different. Most of the time, you don't like just blending into the crowd. You like it when people see you and choose you for something. It feels good when someone knows your name and wants you for a friend. Well, I have golden news for you. God chooses you. You're a treasure. In the Bible, God has this message for his family. I have called you by name. You are mine. To God, you don't blend into the crowd. You're special, amazing, unique, awesome. God has important plans just for you. God chooses you. You are treasured. Now let's remember our verse for the day and say it with me. I have called you by name. You are mine. And Raymond reminds us, God chooses you. Say it. Absolutely. Yesterday's verse, but you are a God of forgiveness, gracious and merciful, slow to become angry and rich in unfailing love. What was our Bible point? Read it. God forgives you. Say it. And Wilder reminds us he comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort others from 2 Corinthians chapter 1. God comforts you. God comforts you. Don't forget Ruby's verse. I love the Lord because he hears my voice and my prayer for mercy from Psalm 116. God hears you. God hears you. And Pogo's. Scripture from Psalm 139, O oh Lord, you have examined my heart and know everything about me. That first day's point was God knows you. Hi, I'm Genevieve and I'm 11 years old. I live with my mom, my dad, my sister, and my cousin in Orange County, California. Genevieve likes spending time with her family. She likes to play with her sister. Her family watches movies together, swims, and goes on walks. Genevieve also does ballet, but what she really loves is swimming. Genevieve and her sister started swimming lessons when she was around eight years old. One day, her instructors chose her to be part of a swimming club where she would race other swimmers. At first, Genevieve didn't feel very strong about her swimming, but one day, Something amazing happened. 
I remember one time that I was doing swimming. It was a normal practice. And at this time, I was probably one of the slowest people in my group. And then I was just swimming. And then all of a sudden, I felt this holy power that I could go faster. And I passed every single person in my lane. And I ended up being the fastest person from that day on. Being chosen means Genevieve is part of a team. That team is a lot like a family. The coaches wanted Genevieve to be part of their team because they knew she could do great things. Being chosen for the swim team means Genevieve must train hard. She practices five days a week for two and a half hours each day. Genevieve relies on her coaches and trainers to help her become a better, faster swimmer. She also relies on God, too. I normally rely on God to help me with my races. Like, I normally get kind of scared before a race, so I ask him to help me, like, become kind of more confident with myself and that he will love me no matter what I get. Genevieve hopes to be able to go to the Olympics and win a gold medal in swimming. She'll have to work hard every day for many more years to be chosen for that team. Genevieve knows that she's already been chosen as part of God's family. And she didn't have to work for that at all. God chose her just because he loves her. Did you know that you've been chosen to be part of God's family too? In the Bible, the book of Isaiah says, I have called you by name. You are mine. That's right. God chooses you and he calls you his very own. You don't have to work or earn God's love. He picks you as his friend just because. God made you for a purpose. You can ask God to show you what he has chosen you to do. God will help you do amazing things. God chooses you. You are treasured. Well, today's our last day of Bible school, but we will continue collecting donations for mosquito nets all throughout the rest of the year. If you and your family want to continue donating and you want to write that on a check or write a note and put that in with your offering, you know, when we're back in the church building or something, you can continue donating and we'll continue giving. But we want to try and wrap up our donations for this week and send them in the mail. Remember the last slide of our lessons slides has the address to send uh, our checks to our Sunday school treasurer, Neil. And uh, when we send that money, then he'll be able to send our big check to um, World Vision to pay for some mosquito nets. Now, what we want you to for an update then in an email from your parents or to your parents, we'll, we'll share it to them and update you guys on what we've collected. And we, well, how many students do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, maybe about 10 ish, and then about four or five adults here this morning. And so some mornings we probably had about 15 to 20 people, but we're looking to make a big difference with just this few amount of people that we have here. So let's. Make sure that we can give generously as possible to fight malaria with mosquito nets. Bring a gift of love, bring a gift of love, bring a gift of love to Offering to our Lord and King till the world is the way. Bring a gift of love, bring a gift of love, bring a gift of love today. In this quiet hour of worship, bring a gift of love. Anthony, I believe we talked about you might be able to share a prayer today. Are you able to share a prayer with us, Anthony? 
Yes, he's ready. All right, let's get into a prayerful mode, everybody. And Anthony, whenever you're ready, you lead us. Dear God, thank you for giving us life on earth. Thank you for all the people who helped with Bible school. Please help anyone who is sick and needs your help. We are so f fortunate to have all these things we do. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you, God. And thank you, Anthony. Beautiful. I wanted to do Hello, boys and girls, and welcome back to day five of Vacation Bible School. It's our last day. Yesterday, I asked you to think about different ways that you could come up with to help our good friend, Dr. Diggingstone, to really understand how he is a treasure to God and a priceless treasure. And I hope he comes today. Well, Dr. Diggingstone, I was hoping you would come and glad you showed up. What's up? I'm heading home today and thought I'd stop by to say goodbye. You're leaving already? <sighs> yeah, I didn't find the treasure I was looking for. I think maybe you got some bad information about there being buried treasure around here. Say, can I ask you a question? Well, sure. Why have you been all so nice? I was mean to you when we first met, but you haven't been mean to me. That doesn't happen with most treasure hunters I know. Well, all of us know that God loves us and he loves you too. And we want to treat our friends just like God does. To God, you're priceless. God chooses you. You are always treasured. I'm not sure you have that right. I go look for treasure. I'm not treasured, at least. I, I don't feel like treasure. Well, we all have days like that. But God loves us on the good days and on the hard days. And he loves us every day. And so you're saying that God chooses me? Like he picked me? You got it right. That doesn't happen very often either. In fact, the whole reason I became a treasure hunter is because I didn't get picked to play soccer at recess in third grade. So I went off to be myself and ended up finding some spare change in the grass. Oh, you have to understand, you are so valuable to God and he chooses you every time. Well, I want to know more. I want to choose God back. Wow. That's really great. That's what we've been trying to get you to see all week. And that's the most valuable thing you could ever do. So we need you always to remember how much God loves you and how much God sees you as a priceless treasure. Can you do that? I will. Okay, we're so glad you joined us, Dr. Diggingstone. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. I love the reminder that Dr. Diggingstone and Sharon helped us with. They reminded me that we all have days that are good and we all have days that are bad. We need to be able to forgive each other as well as sometimes give ourselves some grace and know that God loves us no matter what. Does anybody have any prayers that they want to add? I do want to make sure that we pray for Bruce. Right now he's ministering to someone. He wasn't able to join us in the Zoom. And so um, we want to hold him and them, whoever he's ministering to, up in prayer. Thank Does anybody you. else? Janice, can we um, do Gordon shoe? Let's pray for Gordon, yes. Yes, can I do this? Prayer? And, I've been doing prayer all week and I didn't get to Maggie, you can help me with a prayer, yes. Okay. And we have good news. Pap Pap is coming home today. All right. Yay. John's coming home. Great. Yay. Okay. Yes. <laughs> That's a bunch of hearts in there. Thank you, Stacy. Thanks, Addy. All right, Maggie, come on over and join me. I'll pray a little bit and then you can have a little prayer to finish it up. 
Let us pray. Dear God, we praise you for being with us this whole week and throughout our lives. We pray, God, that we, you remind us of all of these truths that we've heard this week. You know us, you hear us, you comfort us, you forgive us, and you choose us. God, we thank you for the healing that we've seen you complete in others' lives. And now we lift up to you, those who are on our hearts, that we know that you will touch with your spirit. We thank you for Bruce, for Pastor Bruce and his ministry, and we pray for whoever he is ministering to right now, that you would be with them and that your presence would be um, something that they sense. We pray, God, and thanks for John's return home and that family can gather around him and celebrate and that you continue to heal him. God, we pray for Gordon, for your presence with him and for healing we pray for all those who we've shared this week, including Rita, that you be with her, and the family of Jenny Hasner, Denise Sawinski, Cameron's Uncle Bill, Savannah's Grammy, and Scott Dustman, too. God, be with all these folks, but also, God, thank you. Just thank you for what you've given to us and what you've blessed us with. It's more than we deserve. And we give you praise and glory. Okay. Dear God, thank you for the wonderful blessing we have of VBS to get, to get other, to get lots of kids and adults together to learn more about God and um, have fun. And, um, just have a great time with friends and family. Amen. And make fun crafts. Amen. Amen. Yes, definitely crafts. Why do you cut me off in the middle of my prayer? I was thinking you were done, but you added crafts, which is awesome. We need to thank Miss Donna and our teachers too. Yay, yeah, everybody. Good job. I'm sorry for cutting you off. I'll have to let you go on again later. All right, if anybody would like any help with anything or let me know about any problems that you're having, I'm glad to help. Otherwise, we hope you have a wonderful day at VBS and um, some of us will be headed out to the picnic grove at church around 1130. If you wanna bring some lunch stuff for yourself, you're welcome to. If you wanna bring some games to play or maybe we'll just sit in the shade or maybe we'll run around and play there too. I know there's a playground that's not too far. Yes, we're going to bring our parachute. We have a little parachute. Well, we'll be bringing a kid's straight thing. So we can all play straight. Fun. We're glad to see you guys there then. Okay. Hope to see ya. All right, you guys take care. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.